Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Comic Assassin. It's new comic book day, February 19th, 2020. I already went to my LCS this morning. I'm going to show you the books that I picked up. And I'm also doing an unboxing, right? And I'm doing a BAM box. And the box is a little messed up. So hopefully uh, everything aside is, is all right. So I'm going to open up that for you guys too. Um, sorry, it's been a minute since I'm going to be able to drop a video for you guys. Obviously, we had Friday. It was Valentine's Day. Spent time with the missus. You know, my daughter had some sleepovers this weekend. She had some friends over. So we just had, had a bunch of kids in the house all the time. And then my wife's birthday just happened. I tell you, February is one of the hardest hitting months for me, money-wise. It's got my daughter's birthday, Valentine's Day, and then my wife's birthday. All within like 10 days in February. And then my father-in-law's birthday is like two days away from now. So it's like, you know, here's all my money. Here's all my money. And this new comic book day did not help. Did not help. And I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, first off, I want to give a shout out to Life with Two YouTubers uh, and Rena and all them. If you're not checking them out, go check out their channel. I'll leave a link to their channel down below. They're doing an awesome series on Saturday for the Isle of series. And this is kind of a celebration of Rena, the daughter of, she's one of the two YouTubers, right? Um, she's, she came out with her own book, her own graphic novel. And they sent me this. That's right, now I got me some Isle of the Dark swag. So that's the name of her book, Isle of the Dark. And every Saturday they do this awesome show called Isle of, and every week the theme changes. So if you're not checking that out, go check that out. That's on Saturday nights, uh, 8, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. But not only did I get this, I actually won this as well. Also, this is from the artist of the book, Jake Boileau. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, homie. But yeah, I got me some original art from him. Pretty talented dude. So, yeah, and the, the book is on pre-order as well. I'll leave the link down below for that. So, you know, if you're interested in more, you know, indie, small published type of graphic novels, uh, you want to support someone in the community, go check it out. It's, it's not, it's very, very reasonably priced, and it's on pre-order. But yeah, boom, now I got me some Isle of the Dark swag. So, just wanted to give that little shout out. This new comic book day, nutty. I think this is the first time I can ever, ever remember having five different price tags on my books. Five different price tags. That's insane. But let's just jump into it. We're gonna go from least expensive to most expensive. Least expensive, I got Spawn 305 for $299. You know, at least there's someone still doing 2.99 books these days. Um, we'll go to the 3.99 ones now. Uh, I know I don't think this one came out this week, but it's one that I needed. Redneck 25. This is some Donnie Kate's goodness right here. I, I love this series. I've, I've been loving it since day one. Uh, then I got On the Stump number one. This is also another image book. And this one seems interesting. Uh, and I might, I might actually do a review. So I'm going to pick two of the books here to do a review for you guys on Friday. If you have a preference of which one, let me know. But I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I may do On the Stump. Or I may do Bang number one. This is from Dark Horse Comics. $3.99. This one's already getting a little bit of rave. It's already sold out online. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think it's it's just hot because apparently it was optioned or something like that. And, you know, I don't go too crazy when things get optioned. All right, now going on to my $4.99 books. All right, I got Plunge, number one. I got Cover B. This is from Joe Hill. This is a DC Black Label. I just love that shark cover, man. And the synopsis seems pretty cool too. It's about a, I guess a um, a ship that that sinks and its distress signal goes out, but it doesn't go out to like 50 years later. 
So now they're they're going trying to recover this ship and like all the 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 people that were on it from like 50 years ago. But why all of a sudden start pinging? You know that type of thing. So yeah, and Joe Hill he he's usually pretty good at throwing some twists in there. And of course this is the other. And this is a book that was hitting hard. It was hitting hard. It has since plummeted in price. So if you were one of those people that were spending 40 bucks for the set on this, sorry dudes. Um, Batman 89. And it was spiking really hard. I think both sets A and B were going for like up to 40 bucks, if you not even higher, uh, as of like the beginning of the weekend. And now you can probably get both sets for like 25 right it's so you know you've already lost money if you were spending over that $40 range uh, and basically because there's a, a first appearance in this book uh, but it turns out this is probably gonna be a cameo I haven't read it yet this is the words on the street and that the first appearance is gonna be in another book coming up in about two weeks or something like that so now that's the one that everybody's hunting for <laughs> so you know it just tells you man don't, don't always get too crazy and, and jumping off and trying to get these books at high prices just because there's a lot of word on the street. Usually those prices will come down. I uh, also got this one, Deceased Unkillables, number one, five ninety nine. Uh, I had to go with that Matina cover, man. I just, I just think that's a sweet looking cover. And that Batman I had too was a Matina. So yeah, I just, I just really dig that cover. On to the last book and the most expensive. At a big whopping $7.99, we have Wolverine number one. And I had to go with that Chip Kid die cut cover. Like I said, I'm a sucker for die cuts. I don't know what it is about them, but you know, you got that. I mean, it's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty slick die cut right there. So yeah, those are my pickups for the week. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys are picking up. So I didn't get a lot of books. Uh, and luckily, it, I didn't spend a lot of money this week, but it was just nuts having five different price tags. $2.99, $3.99, $4.99, $5.99, and $7.99. I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. At least with the $7.99 one, I will say, I mean, it is a, it is a big book. I mean, it's, it's, it's got a lot of stuff to it. I mean, it's, as long as it's not chock full of ads, but um, it's, it's a hefty book. So at least they're giving you a little something there. All right, now on to the pop, the BAM pop culture boxes from January. Um, like I said, the box is damaged. Hopefully nothing inside is damaged. The franchises for this box, we had Star Wars, Marvel Zombies, and then Masters of the Universe. And then they're also doing this little special thing, which um, like there's like a, a unique card in each one of them. You have to buy, I guess, the whole set of 12 for the year to make the whole thing. I'm not a fan of that concept, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into it. Also, the shipping... Oh, I will say, I'm glad they, they, they're coming back with the actual boxes. Because that's what they used to do. They used to have a box that you know said BAM on it. There used to be a design inside. I'm not sure if there's going to be a design in this one. But then they, they, were, they were trying to... They were redoing their whole concept. And so they were using just regular boxes for a minute there. So I'm glad they're doing the more, you know, advertised boxes now. Uh... But their shipping has gotten later and later and later. Like I said, this is the January box. I and mean, I think the cutoff is the 15th of every month. So the cutoff is already over for February if you want to buy a box. Which is a shame because, you know, hopefully they like to see people make videos of people opening boxes. And, you know, I like to try to give shout outs and say, hey, you know, if you want to buy this box, this is how you can get one. But it's hard to do that when the, the order cutoff is already expired. Right, so hopefully they get back to, to normal and speed up the shipping a little bit because, you know, I, I could recommend you to buy the February box, but you can't because it's already done. So, all right. Uh, so there's no design. Um, hey, I like this. They got a little something there. Just, I guess, a little extra something. Uh-oh, level up. Level up. Boom. You've been leveled up, which means that one of the boxes is a variant. So it's more limited edition. Uh-oh. Uh, this is the first time I ever got one of these. Match three and win a giveaway. So it's a little scratch-off card. So I, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. 
So, and heck, you know, if I, I might even scratch one off and let you know if I won. You put that up right there. All right, so here's my card. And congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. Uh, Jake Geiger. So, and it is of Darth Vader. So I'm assuming, and well, and that, so this I don't know if this is the Star Wars thing that they were talking about, or if this is the the card thing that they were talking about. I'm assuming it's the card, but it's a little um, could be confusing because I know Star Wars is one of the franchises. And if if this is the card, then that makes me think that you, the whole thing is going to be a Star Wars thing. That if you get all twelve of the the Star Wars cards, you'll make like a bigger picture or something like that. But you know, it's not the, it's not that bad. I think it's pretty cool. All right, let's see. I'm going to let y'all see first. Oh, you know it's not the right way. Oh. Okay. So we got a comic here. Is it like, is it a... So I, I believe this is one of those uh, Vampirella, Red Sonia, and... Um, God, the name just went out of me. Betty and Veronica, right? From Archie. Hey, I got a comic book in there. That's, that's pretty cool. So that was not something I was expecting. That's not one of the franchises. Um, but yeah, I'll have to look into this one more because it, it might be a... It's definitely, you know, it's a virgin cover. So let me, let me open this up. Let me see which one this is. Alright, this is a 2019 Diamond Summit exclusive. And it is. Yeah, Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. What in, does it say what number? Uh. Is it number 13? Yeah, it says 01371. So I'm assuming this is 13, variant number 7, first print. So hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, all right, the pin, the pin. I don't know if you can see that that well. Okay, it's Captain America. Um, so I'm assuming this is Marvel Zombies. And uh, if you can look at the picture, you're gonna see one thing that uh, is kind of wrong with that concept. And that is because it's not a zombie. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm actually okay with this. Um, I probably actually would prefer just a regular Captain Marvel pen versus a Captain Marvel all zombified. But it's a little one of those things where you said you were giving us Marvel zombies. And you're giving us just regular Marvel. So, that's what I have an issue with. Otherwise, I'm, I'm totally cool with it. Alright, here is... All right, so I got two prints. And once again, I don't know if it's right side up. Oh. Okay. So does it have a title? Uh, it's signed by the artist. Artist and the print title can be verified at being authentic. Um, I'm assuming this is He-Man. So, yeah, if it is, I'm, I'm, it's definitely he man because he got some more of the characters in the back. I forget what this guy's name is, but I do see Man of Arms in the background, Evil Lynn, um, Stratos, Trapjaw, Tila, uh, some Triclops back there. So there's some, uh, there's a, and you probably, we won't be able to probably pick it up on camera, but there's a little fading in the background that kind of has like a, a shadowy, a shadowy portrayal of some of the, the He-Man characters. I forget, this is like the reverse... He-Man, or the Anti-He-Man, something along those lines. I forget what it is. Um, I mean, it's it's sweet. It's definitely original. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to bash it too much. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I was kind of really hoping I was going to get like just straight up standard uh, He-Man, or some Skeletor, or something like this. Uh, something like that, but you know, hey. That's not too bad. Alright, now, here we have this one. 
Okay. So this is um, what's his face? It's this is the, so this is the Star Wars franchise. <coughs> I'm assuming it's this guy, who what's his name? Uh, Credo. Credo is his name. From the original Star Wars. So let's see. And once again, I wish they would at least tell you who it is that's signing it. So yeah, that's the one thing that I wish they would have done with the cards. Is just let's just let you know actually who signs it because sometimes you can't even read people's signatures. I don't even know who did that art. Uh, I guess I'd go online and find out, but you know, make it easier for me, and uh, that would be helpful. But yeah, this is cool. I mean, it's original Star Wars. Um, Credo, uh, wasn't he a bounty hunter? And like I said, I'm not I'm not big in, into the Star Wars lore and all that, but I do remember years years back there was a controversy about Credo because didn't like Han Solo shoot him? And there was this there was this big debate like Han shot first or something like that. Um, like I said, I don't really get into this stuff, but I remember hearing about that kind of stuff way back in the day. So yeah. That's pretty cool. So I'm assuming it's the, the guy who, you know, was dressed up as Credo. Alright, so here's the spoiler sheet. You have the celebrity autographs, the fan art pin, um, level up. Okay, so I guess my level up was, and once again, uh, what is that? Oh man, the other one would have been sweet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm taking too much time. But there's other prints that you could have gotten. <coughs> uh, the other pins you could have gotten, you could have gotten a, a an Iron Man or a Wolverine. So I got my my level up was the He Man print, which are these are the two variants you could have gotten. But the original one was actually pretty good, man. It, it looks like the original one was like a mix where it was like He-Man on one side and then Skeletor like kind of blending in the other side of the face. And then of course then it got the artist select card and the comic book. So there was, a, there was different comic books you could have gotten. Um, I like the one that I got. I thought that was pretty sweet. Especially because it's a version, it's an exclusive. So, yeah, overall, it was it was a good damn box. I enjoyed it. Um, I'll put a link down below to a referral that you can use if you want to try to get on Bandbox. I don't know what the upcoming franchises will be for the, the March box. Uh, but basically, they usually drop those on their Facebook page. Just go to Bandbox on Facebook. And usually towards the, right towards the end of the month, they usually drop what their franchises are going to be. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, they also have a... Uh, a horror box too. So if you're into horror, that's something you can check out. All right, know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this live. I'm gonna do the scratch off, match three, and win a giveaway. Big money, big money, big money. And I did not get it. But hey, I like the concept. You know, you get it gives you a little something extra to do. So yeah, I did not get three matching symbols. So, I am not a winner this time, but I'm assuming they're going to drop these in boxes from now on. I do already have the February box coming, <coughs> so hopefully I'll get that here soon. And once I do, I'll open it with you guys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hope all of y'all have a great day. Hope you get them books that you want. And if you do go to the LCS this week, or if you're doing your shopping online, I'm wishing all of you guys happy hunting. And enjoy the rest of your week. Alright? Be patient, kind of loving to one another. All right, peace.